Welcome to Inside the Huddle. I'm Mike Joseph for the Lafayette Sports Network and GoLeopards.com. The Leopards with another big win down in Washington, D.C. this past weekend. It was a huge win because Lafayette came off that hard-fought uh, game against Holy Cross. They had to travel on the road for the last time this season. They'll return back to the Lehigh Valley for the last three games. And this is a big one against Colgate. Colgate won three straight games prior to losing and giving up a ton of points against Bucknell. But this is a very capable team, especially offensively so we got to be able to stop defensively stop the run stop what i call the zone read and the rpo and we always talk about a teams that run the zone read well colgate doesn't really run it they don't dabble in it they are a complete team they know exactly what they want to do and how they're going to read it so lafayette right now is how are they going to line up to stop the run they have to be able to make this team one dimensional remember lafayette only gave up like eight or nine yards against Georgetown, made them one-dimensional. Even though Georgetown threw the ball for a lot of yardage, Lafayette completely shut down the run. So the two keys today and have been all season are Billy Schaefer and Sekou White. These guys, are they going to add an extra guy to the box so when they run the zone read and come out, is that safety going to come up? This safety going to come back? Is Billy Schaefer going to be up on the line of scrimmage? Are they going to bang some guys down, get more guys in the box? Can they stop the run with six or do they have to add an extra guy to the box to stop that zone read? So whether they put the H on this side and they put the running back here and they're running that zone read, this is a tough block all season. No wide receiver can block Billy Schaefer in space. He can get off of blocks. He's too big. He gets up, makes plays on the run. He can come down. He can take on the quarterback. So do they add an extra guy on the weak side? Do they add an extra guy on the front side? Do they just line up with three backers in the box? Okay, and then drop the safeties down and play some sort of three deep shell, and then you get a lot of one-on-one -on -one coverage on the back. So the big thing is box. How many guys? Six, seven, eight. They got to be able to stop the run. The other thing is stop the big splash plays because you know off of the zone read comes the RPO, whether it's going to be slant inside on this side, slant inside on this side, putting somebody in conflict, whether it's Billy Schaefer here or it's another linebacker in the box here. Who are they going to put in conflict? They're going to be reading it. So stop those big splash plays. Too many plays down the field against Lafayette last week. Going to put a lot of pressure on a Tang Tang on the outside and Dubois on the other side. And then can they get another guy in the mix, another nickel corner to play some of that? So stop the big splash plays. How many guys in the box? Red zone defense has been good for Lafayette. They've got to be able to stop them in the red zone. Limit this team to, say, 10 to 14 points and Lafayette will put up enough offensively. So defensively stop the run. It's going to be huge on Saturday. Welcome back to Fisher Field.